Hey, and welcome to this tutorial. Today, we're going to be going over Maya's bridge tool. If you want to follow along by picking up the tutorial files, please be sure to check out the VFX Fuel membership over on my Gumroad. The bridge tool allows us to connect bordering edges together by creating a polygon between them. This does only work, however, on single meshes, like not across multiple objects, for example. If you wanted to do that, you're going to need to combine them first. Most of the time, we're going to be using the bridge tool at its default setup. Maybe we change the divisions, but that's kind of just about it. The tool does, however, have a few options to play with, so I'm going to cover those in this video. Here we have two halves of a cube, but note these are one object. Let's go ahead and select both of these edge loops on either side. Just double click in the edge to select the whole loop. Once we've done that, let's use shift and the right mouse button and go to bridge. Here we have a few settings to play around with. The main one we want to touch is divisions and the other options just sort of assist if something looks wrong. But to go over them, taper sort of expands our bevel, but as you can see on this example, it's doing nothing. Twist rotates the edges on our bevel, which can produce some interesting results or even just fix any problems you might have come across. Sometimes Maya gets confused with what points get connected, so the direction source and target can be a good way to fix things if things are looking twisted. Both of these settings being set to plus means that this point, for example, will go to this side, creating the result we see here. If we go ahead and switch one of these to negative, we get a flipped result. For example, this point is now bridged down to this one, Okay, so let's hop a little deeper into the tool settings to explore some of the other options. If I just go ahead and use a cylinder for this example, I will just go ahead and delete some of the faces so we have some edges to bridge. Go up to Edit Mesh Bridge, which is just another way to get to the tool. Click the little menu box, and now we have the options. We can go ahead and set the divisions to three. I know this will work as I have three edges running through the hole in my mesh. Right, so notice the options for smooth path and there's another one which is the same but it also adds a curve. Let's just try smooth path. Just make sure you have your edges selected. Hit apply and you can see we get a nice curved bridge with the divisions we specified. I like the curve option so let's just go ahead and apply that to our mesh. And we can now go into control vertex mode on that curve and make some adjustments. So we can kind of close this gap and then we can merge these verts to quickly fix our hole. The bridge tool is a super useful tool. And again, you probably won't dive into these settings too much, but it's good to know that they exist. Again, the Maya files are available through the VFX Fuel membership on Gumroad if you would like to follow along. Joining the membership not only gives you access to some cool perks, but it also helps the channel out too. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, hit the like and subscribe buttons, come chat with me on Discord, and I'll see you in the next video.